G'day. I'm Australian comedian and YouTuber and all around good guy, Isaac Butterfield, and I'm in hiding. Vegan Booty and Vegan Teacher have come together to join forces and I am terrified. I am in hiding. I am no longer safe. This is the most evil partnership since Joe Biden and Hitler came together in the early 1900s. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, that vegan teacher and vegan booty finally have become one. May I introduce that vegan booty teacher. Tash, I just discovered this thing. That's why I dragged you here. Look at this. They talk about these type of moments in all religious texts. Some call it Judgment Day, others call it Armageddon. Maybe you call it the Apocalypse. I call it... <laughs> anyway, we should all be terrified. Our favourite person. Our favourite. Our absolute favourite person in the whole world. The most manly man ever. Agreed. Yeah, Mr. he just... Butterdick. Mr. Butterdick. Wow, that's right, Mr. Butterdick. Peace be with you, butter pussies. Uh, he did something that's called That Vegan Teacher's Husband Calls Me Out. How is that even possible? My husband has never made a single video about him. So I don't know, I'm curious to watch it, are you? Yeah, definitely. Come on, ladies. Give this video some energy. I know you're lacking in B12 and, and your folate levels are dropping by the second. I know you are struggling just because you are starving. But please, for Christ's sake, Give the video some energy! Yeah, definitely. Allow me to give this video some context though. Basically, I made a video about vegan teacher, but not really. She was in the thumbnail, she was in the title, but it wasn't actually about her. It was about this guy called Vegan Andy. And Vegan Andy is a prolific Australian vegan dude that stands in the streets and yells at basically kids who eat KFC. And I suggested because of his age and because, you know, he looks pretty decrepit, that perhaps, just perhaps, he may very well be vegan teacher's husband. I thought because they have the same nutritional value that they would be the perfect couple, and I guess I was wrong. What does vegan teacher's husband do? I don't know, I assume it's John Dutton. John Dutton! Raising cattle! Slaughtering cattle! Well, vegan teacher's inside fucking playing a fucking internet games, being an absolute pain in everyone's ass. But yeah, let's just say it's John Dunn. I'd like to just point out that this is a great time in the video to plug everything. Ladies and gentlemen, this t-shirt is fantastic. It was an actual TikTok comment. Yes, this was a TikTok comment left about me. Hilarious. Also, don't forget the fuck vegan jerky, which is up here. And I am on the road at the moment doing some shows. And I tell you what, you should come and see me if you're in any of these areas in regional New South Wales. That's where I'm going to be this week. Ladies and gentlemen, back to vegan teacher and vegan booty being the absolute boils on the asshole of humanity. Yeah, let's do it. Drink soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk, don't you may not know this, but this is actually the song that was playing in Tower 7 on 9-11. That's why it collapsed. Not many people know that, but that's why it collapsed. We vegan start right now. Follow that vegan teacher. She will show you how. This song is why Epstein killed himself. Unknown facts. I've been getting some DMs recently from this lady, that vegan teacher. What the hell are you talking about? I never sent he him wishes. DMs. I told him to F right off. Hey, 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 hey. I don't just say shit. I have got receipts, lady, unless it's someone pretending to be you. I've been getting DMs from someone called Vegan Teacher and they're all pro-vegan videos. I assume it's you. He's invited me on his show, on his podcast. I told him he'd have to pay me $100,000 if he wanted me there. And he said, oh, please, please, can you come? Don't ever say, come again. Don't ever say it. I've never asked you to come. I don't want you to come. Please don't come. Yeah, I wanted her on the podcast. I wanted her on the show. I wanted to talk to her. I thought it'd be great. Do you, does anyone disagree with that? It would just be so much fun. I would mean the world to me. And I'm like, no, why would I come to be on the show of somebody who is such a narcissist, actual psychopath, literally feeds his own child corpses? Hey, 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 hey. You say what you want about me. But you leave little Jeffrey Dahmer out of this. For the record, I don't feed my son corpses. She's talking about animal products like a steak, which I do. Uh, give little Addy man. I uh, once every Sunday I cook up a nice big feast 
in, in, a, in a little uh, food processor for him because he's only seven months old. And I throw a couple of nice little scotch fillets in there. Very nice, very delicious, grass fed with some sweet potato and some broccoli. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. That I have my own jerky brand, FK. X. Whoa, 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 whoa. Imagine hating animals so much that you literally show their corpses. I literally show their corpses, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, roll right up, roll right up to grab yourself some fuck vegan jerky. It's fantastic and it sells out all the bloody time. We can't keep it on the shelves. Go and grab some. It's corpses, corpses, corpses. It's actually really quite nice jerky. I would like to say that. Someone said the other day they don't like it because it's not, it's not soft enough. It's not soft because it's not full of fucking sugar, dickhead. Anyway, fuckvegans.com. There's a new carnivore flavor coming soon with just beef and salt. That's it. Show their corpses and try to sell them. Abhorrent. Ladies and gentlemen, go to fuckvegans.com right now and get 10% off with code abhorrent. That's right. Abhorrent, spelled like this. Get 10% off your fucking jerky. She sends me incredible videos like this one here and there's a lot with this one. It's Andy! That's Andy from Australia. Do you know him? Yeah, I've met him. And this guy's what, saying that that's my husband or something? One thing? particular dude who I'm gonna go out on the limb and say he is the male version of that vegan <laughs> Oh my god! They took my husband's head off. Why are you beheading my husband? Because it's the closest he's had to any type of head for what seems like a thousand years, lady. Yes. I would assume you don't enjoy sausage. Mm. Stop eating animals. How unbelievably selfish to not be vegan already. Go vegan. Mm. But yeah, that's crazy e vegan Andy. He's an interesting character. I mean, Andy, hun, come here. Come here. What? What? Look, look. He lives. Mr. Vegan Teacher, hallelujah! He is a carrot between two thorns. The man, the myth, the watchdominion.com. He is here, here in the flesh, and I don't give a fuck who you are or what you say, but that man right there, he fucks! Look what they did. What? Look what he did. Well, that's not right. Yeah, he took your head that's, off. That's, that's unethical. No, that's not right. Yeah? Yeah, not happy about this. <laughs> Anyway. All right. See you later. Yeah. I'd just like to point out that that's vegan teachers edit zooming in on vegan booty's chest. Not mine. That's a weird one. Who edits your videos, babe? Because that's fucked up. My husband's too nice. He wouldn't hurt a fly. He would probably try to ask him nicely, like, do you mind please not doing that? That's the kind of thing you'd do. I'd kick his ass, though. I'd kick this. If I could ever meet him in real life, Isaac Butterfield, I would just, I would just grab a hold of his butter ick and I would twist it. I would you would grab a hold of my dick and you would twist it and twist it. Ladies and gentlemen, right there, that is a threat. Vegan booty fucking grandma is threatening to grab and twist my cock. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to feel. I feel fucking abhorrent. That's what I feel. Abhorrent. Um, uh, Jesus Christ, Lord help me, somebody fucking save me. What a quote. I'll grab a hold of your dick and twist it. That's another t-shirt right there. <laughs> anyway, please, go on. And I would twist it, I would twist it, till it looked like a Twizzler. What the fuck was Vegan Booty doing there? The old double jerker. Hey, hey. <laughs> Maybe I could turn him into vegan That's if I could same. just get a hold of his ick. Just twist it and twist it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my me too moment. I have been sexually abused over the internet and I don't know how to feel. If I had done this about these two, if I had said, like, I'm gonna run into the street and swing off your big fucking flaps, that, that people would not be happy about that. And rightfully so. No one wants to think about anyone's big flaps, all right? But apparently it's okay to say that you would grab and twist my cock. I'm married, okay? I don't want anyone with little skeletal fingers touching me anywhere. For too long I've been a sex object in the vegan community. I say no more. I am more than just meat. I am man. What do you even see in this dude, uh, vegan teacher? You what do you mean? He's such a great activist. Why are you showing me? What is this? Oh, that's the day. Yes, I wore the necklace that says vegan because stealing Shut up. At this point, the two Beyond Meat sisters go on about how bad the dairy industry is, and I, for one, don't care. Well, dairy cows and the bulls are raped, 
So the females are artificially inseminated and forcibly impregnated against their will. They do not consent to this. Now, I would have thought for a long time that you would be against things like that, but may I just go back to when you threatened to grab me by the cock? May I remind you, you evil woman? Grab it by the cock, twist it, twist it. I am terrified and excited. You can do better, babe. You're a bit of a hottie. Even though you've seen it. Did he just call me a hottie? I think he likes you. He's talking about DMs. He wants you to slide in. He's me you know I, You know I'm your mother's age, right? Pardon you, my mother is not that old. And oh my God, if you were my son, I would grab you. Hopefully not by the dick. And I would give you so many spanking. Wait, you probably like that. Oh, granny, behave. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Does your wife honestly agree with all this? My wife is to be seen and not heard. She lives in the kitchen. That's what type of house will you bloody run? It's not true at all. In fact, in the script I said, have Claire behind me giving me the finger when I said that, that she's upstairs with Addie's having a sleep. So just so you know, that was the joke that was meant to be there. It's not there, but it was meant to be there, all right? But she has a message for all of you, and I will do it in her voice. Oh, fuck off, bro. Fuck off, bro. Fuck off. <laughs> That's not her voice at all. She's going to fucking stab me in the knob after you twist it. How many years until you guys are divorced? If she's watching this, what are the chances? You know, women are tend to be more sensitive in general. Most vegans are women, right? Mm -hmm. I think 75% or something like that? Yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah, okay. Yeah. What the fuck are you two on about? Also, if you zoom in on my head in the background, it looks like my hay fever's really playing up. What's her name? Claire. Claire! Claire! Hi, Claire. Come on over, okay? Listen, I have an idea, okay? Just, just take away, you know, sexual favors from him for a while. Ah, uh, we had a baby seven months ago. That's all I'll say. If you know, you know. Say, look, you know, I've got a carrot here, I've got a cucumber, I can use them, I don't need you. And just see what he says, and maybe he'll just come around. What do you think? Would it work? Maybe. All I can deduce from that is that you know all of this from experience. And I will now label you vegan teacher, the carrot grater. Yes, and maybe he'll just come around. What do you think? Would it work? Maybe. Alright, Claire, we're counting on you to veganize your husband. I watched this whole video, and can I just say, vegan booty looks so uncomfortable throughout the entire thing. She's just like, can this old lady get the fuck away from me? I think if vegan teacher was alive when the Salem witch trials were happening, she'd be the first to go, okay? She does look like a bit like a witch. She looks like she may have passed away, you know, around the same time that Tutankhamun did. She's not looking good. She would do well with a good old steak. That's what she would do well with. In fact, if you can get him- Oh, I think we've had enough. That's enough. He's going to go back into an ad. Disgraceful. Hey, you left out the bit where I found out that Vegan Andy became vegan because he had too many hemorrhoids and he couldn't get erections anymore. And now he does get erections. And I can quote this from the article. They are quite firm. I wish you had watched the rest of the video because that would have been fantastic to get your reaction to. Feel free to react to it now. I do care. I love them. I do care. Are you happy that Andy gets erections? Are you? Take care everyone. Bye for now. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's help her save every I just want to wrap this video up by saying thank you very much to Vegan Teacher and Vegan Booty for giving us all depression. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go and grab a t-shirt. If you don't want to do that, go and grab some jerky. If you don't want to do that, come and see me live. If you don't want to do that, fuck what? Big a motherfucking piece of the middle these videos things too long. Well, bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching the video. Make sure you hit subscribe and check out IsaacButterfield.com for all my tour dates. Check out the second channel that I do with my wife, Little Buttsman, and the Pokemon channel as well. My wife and I also have a podcast called The Mum and Dad Show. It is on Spotify and YouTube. And ladies and gentlemen, we have videos coming out almost every day on this channel. We'll see you very soon. Bye.